It's common knowledge that biologists study life and chemists study how molecules interact. But what exactly do physicists study? The easy answer to the question of what a physicist does is simply that a physicist studies physics. Unfortunately, this is not a very satisfying answer and just raises another question. What is physics? Wikipedia, the most reliable of all sources, states that physics is the study of matter and its motion through space and time. However, I don't really like this definition for a couple reasons. The first issue is that physics is not just restricted to studying matter. In fact, the Nobel Prize in Physics was just recently awarded for advancements in the physics of light. Since light is massless, it does not fall under the category of matter. So let's tweak Wikipedia's definition to include massless things as well. Physics is the study of how things move through space and time. This is better, but still not perfect. The main problem is with quantum mechanics. What quantum mechanics tells us is that we can only know what is set into a physical process and what we measure coming out. So the motion in the middle becomes poorly defined since we cannot know anything between sending stuff in and measuring stuff at the end. So let's make our definition of physics take this into account. Physics is the science of predicting where things will be and how they will look when they get there. So, in short, a physicist is someone who tries to predict the future. But this isn't the end of the discussion. There are many different types of physicists, such as high energy, condensed matter, solid state, optical, the list goes on and on. However, almost every physicist falls under one of two main categories, theorists and experimentalists. The job of a theorist is to come up with ways of predicting the future. From what we know about the universe, they use mathematics to try to come up with physical laws, which will tell us how certain systems will behave. Experimentalists are there to keep the theorists in line. They run experiments and analyze data to try to test the predictions that the theorists come up with, to see if the predictions actually describe what happens in nature. If the experiment agrees with the theory, then another experiment is thought up to test another prediction that the theory makes. If the experiment does not agree with the theory, then that tells us that the theory must be reworked, since it does not accurately predict what will happen. And so goes the cycle of science. Predictions are made, and these predictions are tested. If the prediction passes the test, then it goes through another test. If it does not pass, it says that a new prediction must be made. How does this differ from chemists and biologists, though? Chemists and biologists make predictions and then run experiments to test their predictions, so what is the distinction between the fields? Well, the answer is that physics is much broader and more fundamental than these other fields. In fact, the predictions that chemists and biologists make come from the knowledge gained from physicists. So does this make physics better? Well, no. The systems studied in physics are usually incredibly simple or highly idealized, things like a few elementary particles or crystals with perfect lattice structures. However, systems we encounter on a daily basis are messy and have unimaginable amounts of components. So the chemists and biologists try to take what we learn from the simple systems and apply them to the complicated ones, an unbelievably difficult process. So in the end, we have the answer to our question. Physicists are scientists who study the universe at its most fundamental level to try to make predictions which are then tested by experiments. If this sounds interesting to you, then like and subscribe for more videos about physics and how it works.